hi guys it's Lee Janeiro. welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers today I want to do a quick um, garment sewing tutorial haven't done one in a while so I will walk you guys through how I make um, this McCall's pattern all right guys so to get my sojo back on garment sewing I have a Minerva project that I need to complete and um, I've said in previous videos I am a Minerva maker and they send me fabric and we have to um, make a garment and write a blog post so I wanted to try this quick and easy McCall's pattern I've actually made this view before view D I'm gonna be making that again and I'm going to be making it in this fabric I'll have to pop on the screen the type of fabric it is um, because I can't remember at this particular time. <laughs> but um, I'm making beauty again, and I'll try to find a picture of the previous um, time I made it and pop that picture on the screen so you can see it in the fabric that I made it in. But I'm just going to um, just take you with me as I record this. And I'm recording it on my cell phone. Um, so I apologize if the volume is low. Um, I will try to find my microphone. If not, I will try to up the volume in the editing process. Anywho, let's get started. All right, so the pieces that I'm using for view D is piece number two, which is the front. Piece number three, which is the back. Piece number six, which is the sleeve front. Piece number seven, which is the sleeve back. Piece number eight, which is the pocket. And piece number nine, which is the neckband. The first thing you want to do, you want to take piece number six, which is your sleeve front, and you want to stay stitched between the notches. So from this notch here at the top, to to this notch here um, and this is the curve of your sleeve like your underarm part um, so you stay stitched from that notch to that notch and you want to do that on both um, sleeves for um, piece number six you do have two pieces for your sleeves so that's the first thing you want to do you want to stay stitch your sleeves after you stay stitch your sleeves you then want then want to attach it to piece number two which is your front all right um, and I'll show you how I attach that once I finish stay stitching I'll show you how I attach the sleeves to um, piece number two and because I like to take as much to the sewing machine as possible at one time piece number three has a center back seam so I'm going to go ahead and pin piece number three all the way down um, the back and sew up that center back seam as well I'll show you that all pinned and I'm also going to pin and sew my neck band all right I'm also going to pin um, and sew my neck band together so I'm going to take those things and um, go ahead and sew them together to kind of save time, but I'll show you everything pinned in a few minutes. All right, so I now have the sleeve, the front sleeve pinned to the front. And these are pieces two and six, the sleeves are six. So I'm just gonna take it to the sewing machine and sew around um, those curves. I am also going to take my neck band, which is piece number nine, and I'm just, I pinned at the notches and I'm going to sew down that edge. And this is piece number three and it's two pieces. And I pinned at the center back seam all the way down. And I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and sew down the center back seam as well. When you are sewing the front sleeves to um, the front, you're going to have to stretch because um, the sleeve doesn't fit. Um, the sleeve is not a exact fit. 
So you are going to have to stretch a little bit when you're sewing this. So keep that in mind when you pin as well as when you sew your front sleeve and your front piece. Once you have your sleeves attached, go ahead and turn them to the right side and you're going to edge stitch your sleeves. And you'll do that for the front piece and the back piece when you add the sleeves to those pieces. So flip them over to the right side and then edge stitch um, down each arm seam here. All right, so this is um, piece number two with the sleeves attached and I went ahead and serge my seams. And this is piece number three, um, sewn down the center back seam. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to take piece number seven, I believe, and I am going to add the sleeve back to the back piece. And I'm also going to add the pockets to the front and back piece. And I'll show you that once I get that pinned. Okay, so this is again piece number three, the back piece. I'll have piece number seven, the back sleeves attached. And I also have the pockets attached to both sides. All right? Right, I also have the pockets attached to piece number two which is the front, All right? So I'm gonna take piece number two and three, attach, sew the pockets, and also sew the sleeves for the back, piece number three. So now that you have your front and back piece sewn with the sleeves and the pocket, pin your front and back with the right sides facing down both sides. Now, for the sleeve, You'll start pinning here at the top and pin all the way down to the opening in your sleeve. And then you start to pin down the side. So you'll start here at the bottom of your sleeve and pin all the way down, pin around your pocket and pin down the rest of your dress or top. If you're making the top, you won't have the pockets, of course. Um, this also has two splits on each, a split on each side. I'm not adding the split, but if you are adding the split, just make sure you take mark that marking using your pattern piece. Your pattern piece should have a dot or marking or something like that to indicate the split on each side. So just make sure you mark that and you'll pin up until the split starts and then, um, you'll follow the, the directions to hem that part. But again, on both sides, you pin your dress with the front and back pieces right sides together. So from this shoulder, you pin down the arm. That's the opening of your sleeve. And then, um, of course, don't pin the opening of your sleeve. Um, you start at the bottom of your sleeve and pin all the way down the side seam around your pocket and all the way down. And if you're adding the split, just make sure you stop sewing at your split. And when you sew your pocket, when you get here, you should have some dots on your pattern piece. So you'll sew down to about right here. Um, you should have a marking on your piece and then you sew around and you should have a, a dot here. So when you sew around, then you start from the dot here and sew down. All right. For your neckband, after you sew the ends together, you want to fold it in half with the wrong sides facing and press all the way around. And then you can attach it to your dress. Okay, so now that you have your front and back pieces sewn together, um, you have the sleeve across the top sewn, and then you have your side seam sewn. Now the only thing you have left to do is to add your neck band, and I'll pin that and show you what it looks like before I take it to the sewing machine. And then you hem your sleeves and hem the bottom, and you'll be all done. All right, so I'll start pinning 
my neckband and I'll show you what it looks like once I finish. Alright, so I have my neckband pinned all the way around. I turn my dress to the right side and I pin my neckband all the way around. Um, the raw edges are together. And I started by lining up this um, seam here in the neckband with the back, um, back center seam. And then I just match my notches on each side and then I pinned all the way around. So you take this to the sewing machine, you pin all the way around, hem your sleeves and hem the bottom and you'll be all done. All right guys, excuse all my mess in the background, but my dress is all done, right? And I like it. Hopefully I can get out and take some pictures in it. Um, it is really cold outside and I don't like going outside in the cold. <laughs> but um it's all done and i like the neck band i am not a neck band sewing fan but this one did pretty good it's a little crooked um with my edge stitching but you know better than what i've done in the past but um i really like it so hopefully this um quick step by step will help you guys make this dress um, or top because the, some of the views have a top that go with it um, and I'll probably um, as time goes on I may make the top a few tops because I like um, the style of the pattern so all right I'll see you guys in the next video